gonna go on next to this one here. And that's a nice, perfectly head. But what I'm gonna do is I will remove the small ones here to keep as loose leaf and just remove the scrap like that. So this is textbook, what it's supposed to look like. That's what we're looking for. Welcome back to another tutorial on growing bok choy inside of a farm anywhere container farm. Today we are harvesting. Uh, and like anything in farming, sometimes there's little plans that don't exactly work out the way we want it to be. And in this case, the core of the bok choy for this particular cultivar that we're growing isn't as tight as we would like it to be as what the consumer wants. And therefore we will turn this probably into a loose leaf or partially loose leaf bok choy harvest. So without any further delay, let's start in the back of the farm. And uh, we're gonna have a look at the first few bits there, few uh, plant sites that we're gonna harvest. And so I'm ready to go here with my cart. Normally what happens is that you're two when it comes to harvesting, that helps a lot. Obviously you can do the job alone. I'm gonna be doing the job alone today. We have a fresh clean bin here where the nice produce will go in, the ones that we're gonna be packing later for consumer use. And then I have this other tray right here that's gonna be used for scraps um, and also for removing the baskets. When you're two, you have one person that harvests and as you're moving back, the person here on the other side takes out the scraps and cleans the bins on the way in. And then you can take some of the fresh leafy greens or fresh produce from the seedling area and then bring them back in again and refill like that. So that way you're barely moving inside the farm. Another thing is I got fresh gloves and I also have the scissors uh, that's been pre-sanitized to start the harvesting. Okay, so we're gonna go in here and then cut our first head like that. So as you can see, you know, it's a nice head, but it's not as big and compact as what it is. We're gonna weigh it and that will help us determine what we're gonna do with it. So I'm just gonna put it down right here and I'm gonna do the waist after. We're gonna go on next to so this one here. And that's a nice, perfectly head. But what I'm gonna do is I will remove the small ones here to keep as loose leaf and just remove the scrap like that. So this is textbook, what it's supposed to look like. That's what we're looking for. That's amazing. Next. So that's what I mean by this one is a bit leggy, right? So this, we can't sell it as a head, as a bundle, but we could sell it as a loose leaf. So we're right away going to turn it into loose leaf on the side right here. And this leaf here, I find it's not that nice. So we'll, we'll sort it later, but it might not make the cut. And let's go to another one right here. Yeah. And this is pretty good, except for this one that's kind of leggy that we fixed in the other video. We didn't pick up on all of them. So I'm just gonna remove this for presentation, remove this for scrap, just clean it all up so that it looks nice and bundle it up one more time. And I made a big mistake right there. If you saw, when I put my scissors, I just broke a hole inside the leaf. So always be careful with your scissors, not to damage the product. Obviously it's not the end of the world, but you wanna give the highest possible quality and then we'll just continue like so for the entire tray. So once we have a good pack and this is filled up, then we're gonna to move to the lobby for packaging. All right, so I finished harvesting the first batch. Normally you'd have someone going back and forth with the bin to the lobby and maybe even pack if you have that kind of luxury, but because I'm working alone, I'm just gonna roll my cart all the way to the lobby and move it right here and I'll probably repeat the process. In this case, I'm gonna go straight into packaging this. All right, so now that we're on the lobby, we have our scale here. So sometimes the customers ask for a specific weight. Sometimes it's just by head. In the case of bok choy, it's most likely going to be per head, but for good measure and for also purpose of this video, we will also weigh our heads. So some of them I failed to clean. So I have a bin right here for my scraps and I'm gonna, I pre-cleaned all the surfaces. So we're at eight grams, eight grams. So the average is eight gram. And then I'm just gonna grab scissors already cleaned. They're already clean because I cleaned them at the end and store them clean. So therefore when you need it on the moments like this, it's ready to go. And we're just gonna be packaging it as loose leaf, like so. And so for loose leaf, we're probably gonna be looking at the 250 or so gram, maybe 500 grams, depending on your situation. 
So this is a nice head of bok choy that we want that is kind of tight core. But unfortunately, because most of them are kind of loose leaf, uh, we're just going to go with loose leaf packaging across the board. So I'm just going to remove this uh, leaf here that was uh, kind of damaged. And then I'm just going to remove the base altogether, just like so, like that. And we're going to pack it. And when you pack it in the bag, you want to be very careful to pack it sideways like this and then to pack it kind of like that and then stack it. Because if you have all the stems on one side and all the leaves on the other side, then what happens is that it kind of looks crooked and you want it to be presentable. Even though this is wholesale packaging, you still want it to be presentable for the chef once you receive the packaging. Or for example, if you're going to the uh, market, you also want it to look, the farmer's market, you also want it to look good. So we'll just repeat the process across for the entire harvest. So you see those are way smaller, but at least it will not go to waste because we're packing it as loose leaf. Again, perfect head, but we're still gonna repeat the process like so. And this time we're gonna pack it on the other side like that. And we're gonna be aiming for wholesale packaging. Depending on your contract, obviously you gotta check, but for about 500 grams per bag, and that allows you to, for example, to count easily one kilo, two kilo, um, depending on your contract, and then deliver five, 10 bags. And therefore the chef can only pick one of the bags and leave the rest in the fridge. So it makes it easier. But this is what it looks like, packaged up all the way. And right now we are at 190 grams. So that's good. We'll repeat the process again about five more times. If you're gonna be doing this crop quite a bit, you're gonna to need to get yourself some bigger snips or even a proper uh, knife to do like one shot cutting and that will like save you quite a bit of time. For today, I only have a smaller scissor and therefore I gotta do multiple shots, but every single second counts and therefore you wanna be very careful when it comes to that and um, have the right tool for the job and that will make your life a whole lot easier. And we're weighing it here. I'm at 670, so I'm just gonna grab another bag, a little bit heavier than I want to, and therefore I will remove some of it. And so you don't wanna be at 500 grams on the spot because what happens is that they will lose a little bit of humidity, a little bit of water, and that weight will go down. And if you get a customer that will weigh it, they'll say, hey, I paid for 500 grams and I didn't get 500 grams. So always give a bit of a bonus. So you see I'm at 540 grams right there and that will be good enough and we will pack it like so. So condensation may happen and may arrive in this bag uh, based on just the change in temperature. So what you can do is there's packets that, are, that you can add that's food safe that will remove the humidity. There's also like paper towel that you could add as well too and that will keep the humidity out and keep it dry. But at the end of the day, 540 grams is what you're looking for for wholesale packaging. So we're gonna write what it is, how many grams, and lot number if you're following gap practices, and that will go into the bulk box. All right, so we kept a few heads there to show also how it would pack if you kept the whole head on. So basically you will either set it up like this in the Ziploc bag or set it up like this in the Ziploc bag. So in our case, since this is really going to the staff, uh, we're just gonna pack it sideways and so you see they're already all manicured and looking pretty. And we will pack it again on the side and make sure that the heads all line up. Even though there's different heights, you want the heads to line up. And then you could bunch them together also with like an elastic and you you can do multiple heads like this, like that. And then you elastic them together and that becomes a bundle. And you could also sell that directly at the store as is to as another option if you're going for retail. So I'm just gonna finish packing this out. We're gonna weigh it again just for our own measurements because obviously we're selling those by the head when you're selling them as a bundle. And so the weight doesn't matter as much. So I'm gonna finish that and we'll get back to you with the final count of how much weight we got for, the, for this batch. And that's a wrap for bok choy. Uh, we harvested 108 heads of uh, bok choy again um, in about an hour or so, including packaging and trimming them for loose leaf. 
So as you can see, it's fairly quick. And all of that, we got 8.4 kilos, so 8,400 grams of finished produce. Uh, so very, very good yield on that. Uh, grew extremely quick. I think it was three weeks, almost four weeks from the nursery transfer into the main grow room. So extremely, extremely fast. So that's very good. So we're gonna pack that into some reusable plastic bins and move them out for transport and for delivery to the end user. In your case, it could be uh, anything from resale to wholesale to restaurant, you name it, but that's how you do bok choy. Stay tuned for the next video as we're gonna be growing something else. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. We'll do our best to uh, reply back to them and to maybe even make a Q&A video. See you on the next one.